an enabler will always feel pain. If you are a parent and you enable an adult child, you enable their destructive behavior, you will always feel unnecessary pain and your child, your grown adult child will always be in an unhealthy place. Anyone, if you enable an adult, I'm not talking about children because children are going to be uh, immature, they're going to do things sometimes, so we all have been there. I'm talking about grown adults specifically. When you enable a grown adult, when you enable destructive, mentally abusive, verbally abusive, and any other abusive, emotionally manipulative, when you enable, when you allow and you create an environment where that behavior can continue, you will feel unnecessary pain and that person will continue in a negative way space and they will not get better. They'll get worse because of your lack of leadership, because of your lack of confidence. Enabling comes from a lack of confidence. You do not have the ability to say no and to set firm boundaries and to let somebody else feel the pain that they're putting on themselves. Instead, you block them from feeling the pain, you feel pain, and they still end up in a shitty, unhealthy, unproductive life. An enabler is the root cause of destructive behavior. In general speaking terms. When you see emotionally abusive people, mentally abusive people, when you see abuse, it can many times, many, there's always exceptions, but many times it's traced back to an enabler, to a parent, to a friend, to a caretaker, to someone who has allowed that destructive and disrespectful behavior to continue. And I'm talking about disrespectful behavior from an adult, not from children, because children, you know, I mean, children are going to be pain in the ass. We've all been children. I've been a pain in the ass. I'm talking about grown adults that are not working, grown adults that have too much time, and grown adults that blame everyone else but themselves. And they self-medicate as well. That's another definite red flag. Enablers. They're sometimes very loving people. So I'm not barking at it because I realized I've seen it. An enabler is sometimes, many times in my experience, a very loving person. They're not evil. They're not bad. And they understand. It's not as if they don't understand they're enabling. They just don't have the confidence. They may not even have the capacity to say no and then mean it and set up a boundary. So what's the answer? The answer is I pray that you ask God to give you grace to say no. And to set a healthy boundary and to stick to it. If not, the person you are trying to protect, you're hurting. And... and I can say all that. It sounds great. This sounds great what I'm saying. But people will still do it. So if anything, I'm just documenting my thoughts because I I know that you know some people totally agree with what I'm saying. They know it's legit, but they'll still continue to do it. Um, and this will always be in the world. But maybe it's seed for somebody, for their future growth, to know that if you're in some type of an abusive situation, mental abuse... Verbal abuse, emotional abuse. We already know physical abuse. I don't really let you know that. But I'm talking about mainly emotional and mental abuse. That's what I'm talking about. If you're in any type of relationship where you see that, you have to say no. And you have to mean it. And you have to disengage in any contact. You have to cut off a parent. You have to cut off a sibling. You have to cut off a lover. You have to cut off your child. You have to cut off any adult that shows a recurring pattern of destructive behavior or or manipulative behavior or abusive mentally emotional abuse that's the new physical abuse mental and emotional abuse I, if, and they think too I'm co-signing cut people off that's that's what I'll, I'll make this end this bottom line that's the solution for people who want to hear it you got to cut certain people completely out of your life. That's it. No more exceptions. No more, well, I check in on them once in a while. No more check-ins. That's it. The check-in error is done. 
It's you. You are, and I don't mean to say this bad, but you got to, You're. They're completely dead to you. They're complete. You pray that God gives them grace. You can never establish contact again. That's it. Let them get their, figure out their thing with the Lord. Love them. Don't hold any hate in your heart. But you don't want to hear it, but that's the truth. Some people, you almost have to have that mourning. You have to go through it as if they actually died because you have to cut them out. Well, you'll never talk to them again. You have to know that. They basically died to you. Not in that mean way where old school, you're dead to me. Not that type. But in, in a healthy way, that person's done. That person's done. Let there be extreme repentance, hopefully. Pray for them. And certainly, if way, way down the road... I, after a certain amount of recurring, meaning after a certain amount of habitual abusive behavior, I'm talking about mainly mental and emotional, and the emotional manipulation people play. Physical abuse is since old school. Now, now the new abuse is mental and emotional. And certainly not diminishing anybody goes through, through physical abuse. I'm not, excuse me, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. Bottom line is you got to cut certain people off, and until you accept that, your life will be a whirlwind of pain, and you will put that pain on other people. Because other people are going to try to solve that pain. Try to tell you what to do. But it doesn't matter. Because until you do it. Nothing will change. Stay inspired.